Good morning, everyone. Corinne from Mama's Little Lambs. This morning, I'm going to be sharing with you something I feel is essential for all mamas, uh, teachers, women, sisters, friends in general. And I will be back to let you know what that is. Welcome back, everyone. This morning, we're going to be talking about what I have in my morning basket and things that have helped me along the way and daily help me. And um, this is the little basket I use to put them in, and I switch them out as I finish reading the books. So I'm going to share with you which ones I have and other things that I use during morning time basket, which would be for moms. Teachers, sisters, daughters, grandmas. This is the New York Times bestseller. It's The Greatest Gift. It's by Anne Voskamp. It does go along with the Advent series that she has, which we're using, which is amazing. Um, unwrapping the Full Love Story of Christmas, the Advent study. This is her daily devotion. It is um so wonderful. I really enjoyed using this and will continue. It does have, let me get to the inside, the contents. It goes from December 1st all the way to December 25th. And it is so amazing. I have been uplifted every day that I do this. I usually do this in the evening in my quiet time. And I just love it. I have really learned a lot and just have realized that there's things I need to change and things I can do to make myself, um, through God's grace, a better person. So, and I always want to uh, be kind to others and just show them love and kindness. And so the greatest gift is the devotion I'm using for this month. The other thing that I have are, um, this is my a journal of prayers, and I write my prayers in here. I bought this off at Esty. It's really nice. And then I put Silent Night and on here, and this is placed in here just because it's a poem. It talks about the story behind the carol, and it's just really nice to read that. It's uplifting. And then I just put my prayers in this journal. I really like it. There's um, several pages and it's just really pretty nice made. There's little pockets. So like I said, I got this off Esty Shop. The next book is um, a great book. I really like it. It is by Sonia Schaefer, and it is Simply Charlotte Mason Presents Laying Down the Rails for Yourself. And, you know, we don't think about ourselves needing to have good habits or maybe developing them, but as adults, if there are bad habits that we had as children, they probably carried through. And so this really helps me put things in perspective and things that I need to do and what how I need to develop better habits in order to teach my children um, good habits. So I really like this book. It's really been helpful and has so much great information. There are 18 chapters in here, and the content is just wonderful. Everything that's inside this is just a blessing and can only lift you up. And laying down the rails, for children I have that, but the one for yourself, I thought, I need that. I need to develop some good habits. So this is one that I use. Also, I have The Homeschool Bravely, and this is uh, by Jamie Erickson. This is a great book. It's just, you know, it takes a lot of courage and strength and to get us through and to make sure, you know, sometimes we doubt ourselves and homeschooling and how we're doing and what we need. So this is really uplifting. There are different parts in here. Uh, here's a table of contents. There are uh, part one, part two, part three, and you just go through. They have different titles, subtitles. I'll just show you those, let you see what those are if you want to enlarge that to see. But the book is amazing, so you will not be disappointed. It just has, it's just packed full of information and great information at that. The next book I have is by Dorinda Wilson. 
The Unhurried Homeschooler. It's just a simple, merciful, short book on homeschooling, and it has been a blessing. Some great information just makes you feel encouraged and uplifted by some of the things that are, that are in here, and I just feel like this is a really good book I think you would all enjoy. The next book um, and last book that I have to share is Charlotte Mason Companion, Personal Reflections on the Gentle Arts of Learning. And this is by Karen uh, Andriola. And it is just, as you can see, I got tons of marks and bookmarks and post notes and all kinds of other things on there. So this is just great. I, I read this a lot. There's so much to learn. There's just packed full of information. And I want to have a gentle way of learning in my children to feel at ease and comfortable and just to know that they are loved and that the environment that we um, provide for them is just so important. So this is a wonderful uh, companion book to have. A couple of things that are must for me are, of course, my bookmarks. I need my bookmarks because I'm always marking, and I don't know what I would do without my post-it notes. Those I need. And then my ruler, because I'm really funny in particular about underlining something. I don't want it crooked. I want a straight line. So I use my ruler all the time. And then I do have tons of pencils and erasable markers and erasable pens. And then I like these two. These are by um, Crayola, and it's uh, they're super. It's a super tip. So I really like those. I don't know if you can see the size, but uh, maybe if I hold it like that. These are really, really nice. So I like those. So these are just a few extra things that I use when I am reading and spending time absorbing the day and thinking about the day and just going through my devotion and just sharing uh, my thoughts and praying about them and, and writing in my prayer journal, which is so important, which really lifts me up and helps me get through the next day. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and it has been uplifting and maybe giving you some ideas on some great books to read. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe and then click that notification bell because that'll let you know when more videos will be coming out. Thank you for sharing part of your Monday with me. May you have a rich, blessed day and a wonderful Christmas season. Bye-bye.